Hey everyone, Tech OG here, representing those who are 40 and up who love their tech, and also giving out a shout out to all teachers out there that are remote teaching or hybrid teaching. It's tough, it's daunting, it's a lot of work, but uh, keep up the good fight. We're, we're gonna get through this. Cause I'm definitely getting through mine. I'm pretty happy with what I'm doing right now. Even though I can't stand Microsoft Teams, can't stand it at all. Anyway, I uh, gotta really quickly make this video. Um, I have another uh, 10 minutes before my next class. I wanna say eight minutes, but I wanna make this quick video for a quick unboxing or something that I've had um, purchased a number of times that I had to get for the very, very last time. And this is because of my search for a computer that can be used for work and play. Um, as I mentioned before, or I showed a video before of an unboxing, I did purchase the Microsoft Surface Book 3. Um, purchased it a couple of times because um, the first one was a 15 inch and was supposed to get to 13.5. Then I ended up getting 13.5 inch one on the second time, but ended up sending that one back because the price I could not swallow. I mean, $2,500 for a computer just to do some basic stuff. I couldn't swallow that, even though it was great and it can do everything that I wanted to do, you know, having pen support for work and having a graphics card and a keyboard for play. I just couldn't swallow $2,500 for a computer. So I ended up getting the third one. Um, that was the same, that had the same specs as the one that was $2,500, but ended up getting that one for $1,600, which was a lot cheaper, but still, I could not fathom spending that much for the computer. Oh, and the main reason why is because it had a graphical glitch. The display keep, kept going on and off. So I had to send that one back. So I just basically had to say to myself, just use the one you got. So my Dell 7200 2 in 1 right now is the computer that I'm using that has pen support, that, that is light, that is a tablet that I can use in my classroom. But like I said, I still wanted a gaming PC. And so that's why I decided to go back to this one right here that I just got in the mail today. I actually had time to go home to pick this bad boy up before my next class. Oh, I got nine minutes left. I gotta hurry up. My alarm is going to ring on the phone that I'm recording with right now. But I had to get this one again because trying like i said to find a perfect pc that is for work and play that has a graphics card that is as light as this one here 1.3 pounds in tablet form where the computer is basically in a tablet form rather than having the keyboard and flipping the keyboard around like a um um convertible to in one as that uh, genre is called I do not like the um, HP X360. I don't like the uh, Dell XPS with the uh, flip over uh, keyboard. I don't like my keys being exposed because they can break very easily. I don't like that at all. I mean, they have some ones that had the recess keys where the keys go in when you flip it around. I don't have a lot of those out. So like I said, I technically do not like the uh, convertible. I like the ones where you can take the keyboard completely off where you can use a separate keyboard such as a Bluetooth keyboard like this one right here. So, like I said, trying to find a computer like that, very, very difficult because it's not a market for it. The Surface Book 3 is the closest that I can get that has the graphics card, that has tablet form, pen support, you know, for work, and like I said, the graphics card for, for play. I was the closest one. So, like I said, the price I couldn't swallow, so that's why I decided to get this one again. My wife is gonna beat me senseless for getting this one again. And this one is, uh, this is the sixth time, and by me saying that, for those who've been watching my videos, you know exactly what this one is, because as you can see, the box is small. I got myself again, last time getting it. I am done, seriously, I'm done. And this person, Bought the bag, so this person who got this may have watched my videos and said, yo, let me get some accessories. So we got the little stylus that goes with it that I purchased before. Got my little accessories. But what did I get? <laughs> the GPD one too. Now why did I get the two again? As I told you before, GPD has been brave enough to find a way to make a portable PC 
with game controls on the PC that can fit in your pocket. The GPD Win 1 again, as I told you before, is the best form factor that GPD has made or any company has made for a portable PC. 5.5 inch screen, it's light, it's not an aluminum. I mean, they, they did make one with an aluminum uh, lid um, later, but the very first one was all plastic, so it was very light, put in your pocket, didn't weigh you down, um, and when you took it out with the controls on there, it was just absolutely perfect to have and to hold in your hand. The two, when they made this one, yes, it was thick, it is thicker than the one, but it does have type C support. The one does not. Um, headphone jack, it has the um, R3 and R2 button, the L3 button on the back instead of having it on the front on the keyboard. But this one also have um, it on the front as well. So you have your L3 right there, R3 is somewhere on here. Um, oh man, this is kind of light. I don't like that. I'm kind of loose, excuse me. I mean, it, it just means that it's been used. So like I said, I decided to get this one again and the person that um, sold me this or had this one on eBay, um, he did upgrade the SSD to 256, but I'm gonna expand mine even larger with this package right here and it'll get me a two terabyte uh, M.2 uh, M .2 2242 size SSD in the SATA, so it's not as fast as NVMe, but who cares, it's two terabytes. So I can put a whole lot of stuff on there. So like I said, I got it. Yeah, it's a little damaged. Yeah, I got a little crack here. I can get another lid. Um, he said that there's a little scratch on the screen right here. I ain't worried about that. He said there's some cracks around the sides, but like I said, I'm gonna test this out. I'm really happy with this purchase. Again, six time, last time, why? I'm using this mainly for gaming. Um, so as far as playing my um, retro PC games and retro arcade games, that's what I got this for. Um, it's in pretty good shape. It did um, uh, make some modifications to this, so hopefully it'll run great. So I'm gonna plug this up to um, charge it up. But just wanted to show you, I'm back in the GPD game. Um, as you have known from my videos, I did purchase the one and the two before. And I did purchase the three one time and sent that back because the three, the, the, the Win Max, not the three, the Win Max, excuse me, was really large. I mean, full size keyboard is fantastic on there, but it's just too large to hold in your hand. And it defeats the purpose of having a portable PC of this size. So for that one being an eight inch screen, it's not pocketable, it's too large, you might as well just get yourself a full-fledged PC. So, I had to revert back to this size because it had to go with this particular one because with the two, you you have um, a beefier processor. Um, it, it is a little bit heavier because of the aluminum top and thicker because of the energy you have in there. Um, but this one will play pretty much a majority of the emulators and games that I have at pretty good frame rates. So that's why I had to go through with this one again. My wife is gonna beat me senseless because she said don't buy another one, but I did. So had to get it, there's my unboxing. I'm happy again. And like I said, I can still use my uh, Dell 7200 2-in-1 for work and use this one for play. So there you have it. I'm happy with my purchase. And just stay tuned for my review, my second review or third review, I lost count of this fantastic machine and show you how it works, hopefully with the newer updates of Windows and the newer updates of the Vulcan um, um, driver to use with certain emulators, such as the Yuzu emulator. So I'll do some testings of a lot of different things and apps and things like that and let you know what i think about it for the sixth time so that's my the end of my video hope you enjoyed it if you did leave that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already tell your friends about my channel and hope to see you in my next video